Welcome to the Obajima Podcast. My name is Jeremiah, and this is Arya, Arya and Adam. Oh, gosh. Arya and Adam are writers for Obajima, and you are about to watch our writers' meeting, our weekly writers' meeting, where we talk about Obajima, the things we've been thinking about, and we just do stuff. We just have the writers' meeting, and this is what it is. And uh, today, you'll be joining us as we talk about the Lion King fish. I forgot it for a second. The Lion King fish and the shallows and fish folk in general on Obajima. And let's just jump into it, shall we? Jump into let's, the shallows. Let's do it. I like it. <laughs> okay, so the Lion King fish. The Lion King fish is a self imposed ruler of the shallows. Or self imposed, self declared ruler of the shallows. Um, he is a general of his own making and just dastardly bandit of a of a fish folk person he's a grump he's a grump he's yeah. a grumpy dude yeah <laughs> a royal grump he's a, a royal, royal grump. grump whether he's royal or not who knows but he might have claimed a divine right of fish <laughs> That's and it. said yeah. i i am the one who should rule because look at my spines they're That's, filled with poison there it is yeah um so yeah the the lion king fish is a is a fish folk who has come into power on the western side of the island mm -hmm. in the shallows and he commands a collection of fish folk like a like mm -hmm. a i don't so know what you'd call it, like the, a the shallows real quick for um those who don't know uh, basically, right offshore, around the around the entire island, um, is are these shallows. So whenever we refer, refer to the shallows, it's just basically uh, uh, the stretch of uh, land that continues underwater mm -hmm. uh, for some distance until it drops off into the deep. That's yeah. So it, there's for miles and miles the shallows go on, where it's this kind of coral reef you know stone structure that's pretty close to the the, the sea cap or the, the top of the sea and then yeah lazari said eventually it shifts to the deeps mm -hmm. and so the western side of the shallows is in reference to the shallows that connect with the gift of shiratashi and also part of the um land of hot water on the eastern side of the shallows which is not we haven't discussed much but there's we'll talk about that in a second um or something else and also currently where the corruption is mm -hmm. and so the lion kingfish has domain over the the western shallows he and his fish folk warriors and contraband or uh not contraband what's the word i'm trying to say pirates sure pirates him and his fish folk pirates and warriors um <laughs> rule over this section and kind of stop sea trade and and movement on boats they they and probably enforce some sort of yeah um fees and and taxes on on certain islands and kind of rule as a dangerous bandit group um but they live off island so they're not on the actual mm -mm. uh on the actual shoreland they have potentially I, I don't know do they have a mini stone structure do they live underwater i imagine fish folk could probably breathe underwater oh, yeah. yep I think so, they, they live underwater. They have underwater kingdom. Yeah, we. I mean, uh, they could be in. Um, I imagine they have their own structures, but they also probably, uh, if there are parts that are submerged, and so there might be some uh, like a submerged kind of. Uh, we have our our eighties tech and uh, architecture. There might be like a submerged uh, town or city that's that they have now occupied. That's overgrown mm, and everything. Yeah. Well, so that's interesting. So there's. Yeah, what? Well, first let's talk about. I guess let's talk about their. We can talk about their domain first. Well, I have a point of clarity first. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Okay, so we have the Lionfish King. Mm -hmm. Is it the Lionfish King or the Lion King Fish? I don't know. I think we. I've been saying them interchangeably. I think like uh, the the Lionfish is a is a as a fish. Um, that is, uh, I know because when I went to this one place, uh, Bonaire, and it's like there's a beautiful reef and lionfish are an invasive species and they, they eat all the other fish. And if, you know, you see a lionfish in the wild, 
like I I saw and they're just they just sit there and they're just like Ugh. and and if you get close to them they kind of throw out their quills and like Bruh, you know and you're like whoa sh-. so I when created like coming up with the lionfish king it was like that was kind of the inspiration like they are invasive yeah they're grumpy they'll eat everything else and they're, they they just they they're kind of a generally a menace yeah so this this character and who that now they've created this this underwater kingdom yeah they're 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 grumpy and uh they're threatening they'll they'll intimidate you mm-hmm. with their with their little quills yeah and um and they're dangerous you know that that if you got hit by a line lionfish you would you would feel it like some people i don't think they're I don't know how deadly they are. I mean, sure, somebody could have a bad reaction to them, but if, yeah, if you get stung by one, it's it's serious. Like it's not a not a pleasant thing. So yeah. So, the Lionfish King. Then yeah, that's the title. The Lionfish King. Okay. The Lionfish King. So yeah, the Lionfish King um, has rulership, and he he sends out his men, and they probably do raids and piracy and other things mm-hmm. like that. Um, but their actual location, where they're actually existing, what does that look like? Now, Ari had mentioned, like, do they take, um, you know, do they t- take up in a old abandoned city and things like that? And the reason I'm going to suggest we do something slightly different for them is uh, we have an old abandoned, like, underwater location mm-hmm. off the shallows of Sky Kai Valley. Okay. And so what I was hoping yeah, is... I was conflating the two is making them more unique, something that's yep. specific to them. What if they built like a coral reef castle? Yeah, they could do a coral reef castle. That's kind of like, cool. That could be really cool looking. Uh, um, yeah, something built out of like an underground cave structure is possible too. What I wouldn't, I wouldn't hate is if they, if there was a place underwater that was, that also had air um oh. where it's like the players don't have to be if they adventure deep underneath it doesn't have to be a constant underwater battle like maybe I mean, to get underneath be, yeah there could be these caves where you have to go underwater and then you pop up and yeah you know, there could be oh uh, you know. yeah is there a term for that in diving uh or I guess a death in, trap in, yeah. death <laughs> trap yeah don't go um yeah i don't know i don't know uh if there's there's a word for it but uh yeah I'm sure they have to exist, right? Yeah. There's yeah. pockets of air oh, underneath. Yeah. And generally the air is like, you know, dead you know, deadly, but you full know, of gas. Case, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you, everyone yeah, goes you underneath, it's full and, of CO2, and, and someone like, sets yeah. up a firebolt and it I'll, blows up yeah. the whole thing. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you're all fried. Not helpful air. Yeah. yeah. That would Ooh, be cool. this is this is bad air. What is this? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm dying. <laughs> but I mean, I just love the idea that uh, uh, the fish folk, they're all, you know, maybe because the fish folk here are like real bad guys. Like mm-hmm. they're just not, they're not good. And it could be full of um, all these kind of grumpy fish, like um, that are toxic, you know, like there's the, the stone fish, which is another grumpy looking fish or a viper fish, which mm-hmm. is like those deep sea ones with the teeth that like interlock. And, um, and those ones are the ones that are running and maybe there's other fish that are kind of like scared, but they're going along with it just because they, you know, they don't want to get in trouble or eaten, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, like, I don't think the lionfish would hesitate to gobble up one of his minions that didn't do his bidding sure it's like you know at the you know like yo you 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 didn't want you didn't you know guard the thing and they're like no side please and instead of like hitting him with a sword he just goes and just inhales him because he's like enormous yeah so do you imagine sorry so is the lionfish king humanoid but with lionfish characteristics or an enormous lionfish I, yeah. I I could probably tell her the answer considering we already have artwork. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. <laughs> Are we going to display that here? Or? Whoa! <laughs> it's probably. Uh, hopefully, it's already been shown. <laughs> oh. Um. Yeah. Okay. So here's the thing, though. I didn't know that. So he seems pretty standard in size. Okay. I kind of have him being as like a big gruff. Like he has a bigger belly. Mm-hmm. Um. 
and stuff like that. Uh, but I don't have him being huge. That being said, he still could be giant size and just have tailored clothing. We don't have a scale Is person a scale? next to him. Yeah. yeah, there's nothing for scale. So he yeah. could be huge still. He could um, be 12 feet tall. I love it. And still, you know, in, fully envelop one of the smaller fish folk. <laughs> or adventurers. <laughs> yeah. Which is cool. I like that. Yeah. Um, I, I also wonder. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, no. I was. I, was, I think I was just kind of going to ramble on about. Um, <laughs> 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 I just felt like, like what his underwater palace could be. But you know, well, ramble. I want to hear. <laughs> yeah, I love. I'd love to hear. Uh, go ahead. No, I just like uh, y- you know, y- you go up underneath, but then there's like you know stairways that lead. Well, again, you could have. I mean, you're saying what I, mean, yeah. you're saying what I want to hear. Water? <laughs> yeah, yeah stairways that come out of the water, and you, you know, but I, you know, I guess we would have to have, um, you know, is like okay. So you go in, you go off the the shore into the shallows. Is is it is a situation where the his actual kingdom is is underneath? Like you kind of go into the shallows, but then you curl back and you go into Obajima. Or is it you go into the shallows, you wade out maybe a mile, and then there's this enormous coral like st- you know structure that then you go up and under mm. inside mm. of. I mean, is it you know is that is that rock out there? Is that that his uh, right? It's hollow, and inside is his. Well, <laughs> I think what his domain looks like has to come. We need to decide how they travel to start mm. with that. Because if their domain's underwater and a coral reef and all of this stuff, then they're probably not using boats. Otherwise, the boats would just float on top of the ocean. Yeah, yeah. They wouldn't abandon them. But if they're using boats to travel, which probably would if they're doing like a band of you know 20 pirates who are going to go raid a local village to get some goods, they probably want a boat of some sort. I always imagine them just kind of emerging out of the water. Almost like you always see like, you know, Navy SEALs just kind of like rising up out of the surf or whatever. <laughs> like, that's how I picture the raiders. Well, the the question I would have then is like, are they, when they do, when they go and raid stuff, are they taking a bunch of goods and then like throwing it into a, because the other thing into is if we, lap sack. if we throw, <laughs> if we show the, the marked swag. if we show the, um, <laughs> the uh, lionfish king, he's in like, a general's outfit and like mm-hmm. uh, with boots with leather boots and stuff he's not very he's less fish folk like a um sahuagin is mm-hmm. where they're like mostly just a dude who's naked <laughs> you know like the sahuagin when i see a sahuagin i go oh it makes sense that they live and flourish yeah. underwater when i look at least at the illustration of the lion king fish he looks like just a pirate who can breathe underwater like he yeah. looks like he, he spends his time above land um and like that's how he looks when he's trying to address land folk <laughs> like, yeah. coming come to the kingdom um so i i want to you know do we want a adventure that feels more um you know m- more classic fish folk or do we want these fish folk to be land dwellers who live on you know platforms out in the water like you know they could also have a bunch of garbage platforms that kind of floats mm-hmm. out there and they have a base and they have pirate ships that come up um and they can breathe underwater and they can utilize that um or are they yeah. fully submerged underwater and they're you know they're wearing very little to just cover themselves up because they don't want to, you know, bog themselves down. Having leather boots and a general's jacket and a captain's hat and then sinking underneath the water is yeah. insane. It's a yeah. crazy it's a crazy thing for the Lion King fish to do. So then it's it feels more like that they, you know, maybe have a giant I mean, I'm thinking of um water world where like Dennis Hopper and is in that <laughs> giant crazy like you know cobbled together pirate ship made out of steel like mm. but maybe they have a giant, noah's ark yeah it's kind of like a noah <laughs> that's right it's like noah's ark this mad noah's ark maybe the lionfish king is in some kind of giant ship like that that's like this weird this, i don't i don't hate that uh, yeah it could be like you know and they just sail around i mean <laughs> yeah there's a picture of them um <laughs> It, I mean, if you, if you, beautiful. 
if you <laughs> if you had that, you could always see him coming. Like mm -hmm. he's, he doesn't have the the element of surprise. Um, so then you kind of lose. But maybe uh, it, he's just out there on the horizon. But like to Ari's point, that anybody who's traveling around in the shallows, you never know when the you know the fish folk are just going to kind of emerge and just board your ship and take you over i think because they're on the western shallows our intentions or at least my intentions with that they were kind of goofy mm -hmm. that they were kind of like they're dangerous but they're never that dangerous because if you're on the western side the gift of shiratashi the things that you're encountering aren't as dangerous so yeah. it, presenting themselves not having the best tactical flair being you know there's probably a reason they haven't taken over towns and they're not super yeah. military because they're just like flamboyant and dumb and mm -hmm. goofy um but like you know still dangerous and kidnap people and do all this crazy stuff and we'll burn your house down um i i don't know i don't know which um i don't know which options which options better i mean maybe one of the questions we need to figure out is like what is their ultimate goal Right. Like I, you know, you are the lionfish king. You have, you know, usurped power from your predecessor, or you finally united the fish clans, and now you have this crazy, wacky uh, pirate ship, and you're like, now I will rule the shallows. <laughs> what? <laughs> why? What? What is your goal? What? What? You know? Why are you? Why are you doing what you're doing? And how do you think about land dwellers? Right. Like, do you see them as just like, stay out of my shallows, whatever you do, like stay on your land. Like, or is it like you will pay a toll and you will, you know, you know, give me tribute. How dare you sail your barges on my waters? Like, is it that? Well, is that I, the extent of his? I, I don't know. Yeah. Well, the, the, the other thing that we are talking about is there being a potential nether. This was a long time ago. But another like gang of fish on the eastern side that are more mm -hmm. dangerous, and so there's almost like the lion king fish is bad, mm -hmm. and he's doing these bad things, but he's also keeping them at bay. Yeah. Like him having the western side of the island like stops the other group of dangerous fish from yeah. coming over. He's like the devil, you know. But yeah, the devil exactly. You don't know is the the viper fish gang. So yeah, he's like they're death dealers. Exactly. He's like goofy, and he goes and robs someone and. Yeah. You know, they almost like the pirates in Porco Rosso, where they like they kidnap yeah. a girl and Porco Rosso keeps it, but the girl never gets hurt. And they all like all the little girls are like, oh, pirates. And they're all laughing. <laughs> you can almost do the same thing if you wanted to yeah. with a uh, lion cake fish where he's like he rarely comes out. All of his men are always kidnapping stuff. And when he does, he's always very showy about it. And yeah. but then like at the same time, most of his dealings are keeping this other group of fish away from his territory. Yeah. So. Like I, I like that a lot uh, in terms of like we our past selves wrote, uh, the lionfish kingdom is in a bit of a kerfuffle at the moment. <laughs> Rival schools of fish, uh, fish folk are encroaching on his kingdom, fleeing with their what they are calling the foul waters. The lionfish king has has become territorial and aggressive, cutting off all access to his waters, and effectively sealing off the northern and southern docks of the coastal divers lodge. Right. So, um, so. I think that's really cool that, again, this goes to this idea that whether or not you're involved in anything the lionfish uh, king is up to or the fish folk are up to, things are happening in that world. Yeah. Right? And I, I just like that idea. Or I like that just as an approach quite a bit. Um, I will say, like, you know, we can go the route, like the Porco Rosso pirates and stuff like that. Um, but you could also use uh, fish folk as, like, at low levels, you know, this is something for your players to fight. Like, mm -hmm. and so it's just one of those things, like if you want to treat them as a little bit more um, kind of monstrous and cutthroat, that they are the raiders that come, you know, at night and take stuff and they might, you know, kidnap people and drag them down to the deep or whatever, or not, or to the shallows rather. Um, that might be a thing. Now, now you have to go deal with them. And so it's a thing to, to just to bear in mind as, as a thing that they, uh, as a function they might serve. Well, you could play, you could play to both ends yep. where it's like, the Lion King fish, you could still introduce bad, really evil, vindictive fish yeah. folk early on mm. and then find out later that these are some of the rant, the floaters from the other side who are coming over. Mm. That's cool. And they're like being forced onto land. And then and then the Lion King, then it's like this weird dynamic where it's like the Lion King fish is 
your enemy, but also your ally in the sense that you're both chasing down these evil right. raider party. Mm. There's something cool about getting the, the Lionfish King's favor. Yeah. You know, just like, <laughs> you know, that's, that's, that's cool. And it um, could be that, you know, like if you play to his pride or you play to his ego, mm-hmm. then he, he might actually, you could actually be, uh, you know, manipulate him mm-hmm. or... Um, or get out of stuff, yeah. you know, yeah. like, oh, life, but you are so wise and all knowing. And he's like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. 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 Yes, you're, you're spy. It's like, uh, Bilbo with smog, you yeah. know, like, yeah. you're, you're, you're terribleness, you know, yeah. you're, you know. but good. then he could, he could pull, you could, you know, they work together. And at the very end, after, you know, the two, you and the Lion King fish help defeat these raiders, he kind of turns to you and goes, all right, well. Off to prison for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that they're now that you're gone, that one village is uh, looking mighty tasty. And he like <laughs> sends his men to go take off. You know, bring all the food, all the cattle. We're feasting tonight or whatever. <laughs> and he has like a like his his you know you know enforcer is like this barracuda mm-hmm. folk who's just like yes, I <laughs> uh, he's just fangs and yeah, you know, you're like oh god, it's cool. I I think. I think maybe I'm thinking too much. I I want them to be both land dwelling and aquatic, and who mm. cares if they're wearing a pirate's costume when they're underwater? It doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know why I'm it's getting fantasy. into. I don't know why I'm getting into the logistics of <laughs> outfits underneath uh, water. Who cares? They're fish folk. They'll do whatever. I don't. Um, I love uh, them having like a, a him having his own personal ship that he sails around mm-hmm. that maybe has like harpoons or something mm-hmm. dangerous or or. Uh, um, I don't know something on there that's that's interesting that and that maybe he like hides it behind the reef that parks up or that sticks up from the water and then he like goes and his actual kingdom is underneath the reef in the bubble or whatever. Yeah. What if his what if his ship is like a skeletonized fish that fell into the sea, and then they just put they stretched um, skin around it oh, and now it floats and it's just I like this that. it's just awful <laughs> That's thing so terrible. it's so gross I, I you and i went in the same direction with a dead thing but i just went something different okay. what if part of a ship the nose of a ship is the original pontier oh that he sunk yeah that's cool that's pretty good sure. yeah at least the first half of that it now that that definitely sets up a conflict yeah. between mm-hmm the captain and and him then there's also this like the captain you know nemo Mm -hmm. um who's been sailing for years and years and years can can have this like that that scumbag full of (laughs) that you know bloated bag of water has been you know (laughs) popping my ships for years or whatever (laughs) um and there's like this confrontation which i think is really cool of them knowing each other and having like a like a, I mean, that sets up a thing where, you know, maybe there is a a device or a piece of technology on uh, the Lionfish King's, you know, you know ship. Yeah, his, his ship that is part of the, the, the submarine. Yeah. And they're like, and Holly and the captain are like, if we could get that back. Yeah. That would be. That's really cool. That would solve a lot of problems or we could do this cool thing. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. And then that forces you to like, okay, now we've got to get on the ship. We either got to sneak on or fight our way on, get the thing, get off. Yeah. You know, without getting killed. That's cool. Bestie. That's really cool. I like that. Um, so for fish folk, I want to talk about his men for very quickly. Mm. We've kind of talked about these different options for fish folk and stuff like that, different versions of of them. Um, currently. We have the Lion King fish, which will be his own stat block. Then we'll probably have like a couple standard fish folk stat blocks, like one bandit that looks like something and then one id captain or something to that effect. But we also have like crab folk, like this crab folk mm. creature, which we have artwork which we can throw up that has like one giant claw and then uses a sword with the other one. <laughs> okay. um, and yeah. how I want to know how do those play in here? Are those like his personal guard are those completely disconnected from the lion king like maybe arch rivals yeah they're their own peoples or they're their own you know maybe they're more mindless or oh that's interesting that's interesting they're more just dangerous things that attack well i know anytime i've been diving 
crabs are just always ready to fight you. <laughs> yeah. They just are like, come at me, bro. They, you know, like they have no fear. So they're like that to me. When yeah. I think of crab folk, they're just like, you looking at me, you know, and they've got their claws at the ready. Like, yeah, every time they're just at you. And then, you know, sometimes if you kind of push them a little too far, then they, then they skedaddle. Mm. But most of them are like, they're, they're ready to fight you. Yeah. They don't care if you're like 10 times bigger than they are. I think that's something we can do with the crab folk is like the difference, the separation here is the crab folk don't speak. And so they're like, <laughs> they're like these kind of more monstrous things where the yeah. fish folk have more like human or a little more skew, a little more human. Yeah. They're like the Sardaukar. They're like oh, the Sardaukar. Oh, yeah. Yeah. These are, yeah. They're the just here to fight. They're just murderers. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they do. Yeah. <laughs> And that's my best start of card tuba <laughs> noise. Um, and then shrimp folk just want to run away. Yeah. <laughs> shrimp folk. And they run away backwards. They're like, oh. Yeah. Shrimp folk are great. <laughs> shrimp folk, actually, well, no, that's dumb. I was going to say shrimp folk, but they're all pistol shrimp. So they're punching oh, at the speed of light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just punch through a freaking boulders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, the air heats up as they yeah exactly sparks everywhere yeah. a fish folk monk or a pistol shrimp monk oh yeah okay no. that's uh, no. I, it's fun but i also hate it at the same time <laughs> <laughs> so now uh, it's like this it's just game breaker yeah exactly yeah, it's like everybody wants to be the pistol shrimp monk he's <laughs> like okay you hit it you know, 14 d6 all right go <laughs> It's a fun. <laughs> he just punched a demon to the next world. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> but with with the fish folk variety, there's a handful of variety of fish folk. We talked about you know potential crab. How big do we see the collection of fish folk that follow him? And also, are there fish folk that don't follow him? I mean, it depends on how like nerdy you want to get with the fish because I could be like, you know, there are so many beautiful, interesting, cool kinds of fish, mm -hmm. you know, and each one like you, there's a, there's a, there's a really cool fish called a spotted drum mm -hmm. and it's like this interesting design. It's black and white and they have a juvenile and an adult version of them. But then that just goes so deep into like fish nerddom. Yeah. But what's the really adorable one that's in the uh, Pacific Northwest here? What's oh, it? the lump sucker. The lump sucker. Yeah. And they are they're like <laughs> Would you call me? <laughs> <laughs> would you would you call me? I'm a crab. Um <laughs> But the Why lump are crabs French. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, <laughs> who knows where the crab is from? Um but it, the lump suckers are like these little golf ball sized uh, fish and they're terrible swimmers. Mm. Like they'll come at you and they'll do this like <laughs> they're like almost tipping over, but they have a sucker on their chest and then they go and they stick on like seagrass or whatever. Um, and but they're adorable. Mm -hmm. um, that would be a great character, you know. So there's all these different characters I, we could do. I want the Lionfish King to have these lump suckers that are his advisors that are just like <laughs> att attached <laughs> to him. To him. <laughs> they're stuck on each. Th yeah. yeah. <laughs> he looks at one. What do you think? I disagree. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Um, just like no, 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 no. Don't eat me. Um, there's <laughs> like like you could have a moray eel. Like a Mori eel would be awesome advisor, like oh, Ramora, you know, yeah. like yeah. So there's a lot of variety, but what I was initially intention, or the in just, intention behind well, this question is how not how many as in what's the variety, uh, how many as in how many like as like, in numbers, like is there is there, you know, a, 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 a huge amount? Are they more few and far between? It's like how how big is this collection in the shallows of mm. these fish folk that exist i mean i like to think that the lionfish king is legit like enough people have bent the knee and they're like yeah you're you're the lionfish king this is your domain so he rules like hundreds and hundreds of that's what that's mm -hmm. what i i just like that quite a bit like okay. when you are standing before the lionfish king it's like Okay, you know, yeah, this is this is you're you're in you're in some trouble if you have been dragged before him. So maybe the lion maybe maybe the lionfish king has a domain. He has like his palace and he has like a boat. And mm -hmm. then there's other fish folk that live in the water. Mm -hmm. Well the, but then so well, hold on here. <laughs> Cause then there's <laughs> if bending the knee 
means that there's fish folk that don't agree with the lionfish king, which takes, again, takes away some of the vile nature of the fish folk. If some of them are like, I don't want to do this. And then he's like, well, I'll do it or I'm going to kill you. Um, it makes them feel more human-like. Mm. Are they all just like, we follow you and you are the leader and we're this type of thing. We're just cold-blooded. We're cold-blooded creatures. We, we you know, care a little for human and spirit kind. We're just doing our own thing. Um, or is it like, oh, there's a fish folk family and they live in their own little reef yeah. and the Lion King and fish. there's fish folk Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> fish, folk, <laughs> fish folk Christmas, fish folk Hanukkah. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, they're just like, they have these beautiful little celebrations. Oh and my then gosh. You, yeah. you killed my dad on fish folk oh, Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, we don't want to yeah, do, do that. Let's not do that. Yeah, let's, oh, let's make them real that's jerks. That's so funny. Yeah, you have to, you, you, these have to be monsters yeah. that you have to be okay with with hitting with a sword okay so then i would say there i would say there's probably less of them then there's probably not hundreds and hundreds there's probably like because if there's a huge army that the fish the lion king fish commands he probably would over. just overthrow unless he doesn't, he doesn't care want about it. land yeah. i think yeah i think he just he might look at just like the surface of Ob- Obajima is just a place to, you know, get stuff sometimes. It's not it's not worth anything worth getting, he has. You know, mm-hmm. I can imagine that's how he would rationalize it to himself. Mm-hmm. And anybody kind of traversing his terrain must can only do so at his leave, you know, yeah. kind of thing. Like if you if human beings didn't get in boats and try to take stuff from his waters, he wouldn't bother with it. But the audacity with which humans get in boats and take fish and try to dive for pearls and like all that stuff like that irritates him. And he's then he's just like, all right, you know, now now we're at war. So the fact that he's not like being vindictive and kill it, like the fact that like the Coastal Divers Lodge sends a submarine That's, underneath the water yeah. and he all he does is damage them and doesn't go and like destroy the two divers lodges with hundreds of fish folk to yeah. do it means that he's not bad <laughs> means that he's not that bad at least because it sounds like if we're making these fish folk out to be like potentially evil like you don't need to worry about killing them then for him to have an army like this he needs to there needs to he needs to have a reasoning for not just being like nah, I'm just gonna take out the coastal. There, submarines in my mm. water never burn that to the ground. Yeah, like if he was very evil, that's what he would do. Or then we go back to the idea that maybe there's not a lot of these these kinds of creatures. Like, okay, there are fish in the sea. You can fish. There's like regular fish, and you pull them out, and you can eat them and cook them in a skillet. These beings, maybe they're almost like spirit demons and they've just taken on fish form <laughs> i i was thinking about that but i think the issue with that is that we're tur- we're all of a sudden using spirits as turning into demons and yeah. then making things as a we just did that with mm-hmm. the oni it's true well what i think could be a solution here is that like fish folk tend to skew maybe a little more evil and there's bands of them all over the place but the largest band is the Lion King fishes, and he he controls a couple hundred men, and they you know live in different sections, you know packs of fifty or forty, mm-hmm. all across the gift of Shiratashi, and they're in charge of going on land and getting bounty and coming back and bringing it to him, and he gets a cut like a pirate captain mm-hmm. and little groups of pirates all over the place. Maybe that's the I mean maybe that's part of it too is the lionfish. Or the fish folk might not be, you know, great at organizing themselves into big groups. Yeah. And maybe, like, standard uh, fish folk are probably, like, in raider groups, right? And there might be between a dozen and, like, 30 right. in any, of the, any one of these. The Lionfish King, what separates him is that he has called himself the Lionfish King. <laughs> he has claimed this domain. And whether or not everybody, you know, all the other groups recognize it, maybe enough of them have has where he's among all the disparate groups. His is the largest, but still not all of them. So he might have like a hundred, you mm-hmm. know, but like at his disposal at any time. But 
it yeah. could be that they still bend the knee to him. He just act doesn't actively control them. Mm-hmm. So like if he goes to one of these other groups of 60, him and all of his raiders yeah. all surround them and he goes, are you going to give me, where's my tax? And it's very then, futile. Yeah. 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 And then he leaves and yeah. then they just do their own thing. I mean, what if the Lionfish King is like, you know, at it's like um, at some point in history, there was the first feudal lord. Mm. And maybe the Lionfish King is like the first fish feudal lord. Like no, no, no fish is no fish folk has ever done that before, mm-hmm. and he is like the, um, like the, you know, the very first one who's like I am united. Mm-hmm. I'm or he's tr- in the process of trying to unite now. There's the other gang on the other side of the island that's like, no, you won't, you won't take us, you know, like, and that's like the deep sea fish gang, you know, they're just like, then they're the real dangerous ones. Mm -hmm. But the lionfish is like, I'm trying to unite the, the, you know, everybody Mm -hmm. together. And, and he's a pompous jerk and he can be dangerous at times, but he's not a psychopath. And maybe... It could be like that thing that we were saying, talk about earlier, where it's like you could actually, you know, team up with the lionfish king and fight the the viper fish and and take them out, and then help you know sort of like bring peace to the shallows. Mm-hmm. But you know, you could do a deal with the lionfish, like, look, hey, if we pay you tribute, you just stop being a pirate, you know, and then like, don't can we can we sail some boats and then he might be like mm, let me think about that as long as it's you know it's skewed heavily in his favor like yeah. he'll be like okay but he's not he's not unreasonable but he is dangerous I, i'm trying to think of like a comp in real life like what kind of crazy dictator or, um feudal <laughs> lord he is like but you know that that could be like what he is because i don't want him to be too like too um uh, like he, he, he has to be a problem, right? He has to be a serious problem. Well, I think, I think what it could be is God, that, <laughs> sorry, I, look, I looked up viper fish there. <laughs> yeah. What, uh, I think he could be, is this like, he, his desires are to unite these groups of fish and to do that he needs to show power Mm -hmm. and he can do that by raiding land and showing like, Hey, look at these things I can collect for you. If you join my people, you can be part of this bounty. Um, but I don't think his, I think like you said earlier, I don't think his overall goals are to take the land in itself. And so like, you know, he's selfish and he's willing to harm people because he's trying to do the thing that he needs. Like he's trying to accomplish his own goal, but if his own goal didn't require him to harm people he probably wouldn't yeah you know he's like yeah or like you know if his goal didn't require him to go and show power then he might not be as vindictive or mean yeah there's like you know he's doing what he's doing because he's his his objective is to try to bring the shallows under his control Mm -hmm. and but let's say he he did let's say he got the shallows under his control then he would just be like, now I want tribute. Right. You know, like if you're going to sail your boat or if you're going to fish in yeah. my waters, I want tribute. Yeah. And as long as you pay him like like a really over the top expression of how his he is so majestic and wonderful, then he's like, now you can sail your boat. Mm-hmm. And yeah. maybe if you really did it, then you actually could get an audience and you know, maybe talk with him, you know, I could see him being moody too, or he's constantly changing (laughs) (laughs) or like, where he'll be like, Oh yeah, you can sail here. And then something, you know, upsets him. And he's like, those six men can't sail anymore. And like, but you just said that they could, I don't care. Sink their ship. (laughs) Yep. And he's like, sticks you with a spine. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. (gasps) Um, but something you said earlier sparked this as an imagination. (laughs) If this, if he's the first ruler, the first Mm. King of the sea, Um, he could potentially have, um, two old Nakudama tomes, which tell stories of the Nakudama queen who used to live on Opajima. And so like hearing Uh, about her, like, especially the Nakudama used to be warring. mm. What what if he thought that these are contemporary and that the queen is still 
alive and that he's he is going to be a worthy uh suitor <laughs> suitor that's really funny yeah something to that so it'd be cool like his personal library are these two ancient tomes or these two old tomes that talk about the the transcribes of this queen's stories yeah and he just is like those little frog things can be kings and queens i can be a like he learned what the word king was through yeah. this he's like uh, this frog thing can be a king i can be a king maybe that's be a ruler if he he feels like if he marries the, the somebody from the nakadama royal line then that gives him legitimacy as a real maybe, royal maybe that's why he's kidnapping all of, like he's going to villages to try to find a nakodama to kidnap yes like a like a like a not nakodama you know girl that he's like are yeah. you the queen well, no throw yeah. her back yeah <laughs> find out if it's lineage maybe maybe because maybe he's got a nakodama book of lineages oh, and he's and he's searching he's trying for that. to find the heir which is a really interesting like thing like when you you you, you know as on obajima and you're like learning about it and you're like yeah it's only nakodama who are getting steal stolen by the fish king and you're like why is why that? that why is that and then you learn he's trying to have a royal heir That's that cool. will then kind of tie him to this glory of the nakadama and then he can be even more self-inflated yeah i almost want to make him a puffer fish but no. <laughs> <laughs> but there is something cool where uh, there is a there's a fish called a frog fish and it's weird mm. because frog fish they're the, these weird looking things but they have like little fins that they use to walk along the floor, and yeah, it'd be interesting. I've if, seen these. Yeah, if the frogfish is like one of his, Ugh. um, yeah, they're weirdos. Um, <laughs> yeah, they got like these little, like weird little fins. Yeah. But that could be the one that's advising him. Like, yes, you know, there, there is this like, there is this. Um, <laughs> There is this word, sire, that it will be royal and the blood will be legitimate, mm -hmm. you know. And he's like, tell me more, you know. That's interesting. Yeah. That's I, super cool. That makes, uh, I think that's real fun. This is, sorry, we're looking at, look this up if you can. This is the yellow hairy frogfish. Yeah. Oh, man, they are so weird. They're fun. I, They're fun to find. I really like that. Yeah, I like that. That's super interesting because then there's like reason for him to raid, yeah. not just like I need goods, which, you know, is not a bad answer. But having this like desire to yeah. raid to find this frog princess, this long lost frog princess, <laughs> which would be so hard because Nakadama only lived to 50, which means there's going to be so many. <laughs> there's gonna, there's no idea. So yeah. Yeah. many air like da, 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 and it's just it's going to which means we have to create an NPC of a Nakadama young Nakadama girl who is the one. Oh and gosh. she could like at some point once they realize like players could either realize as they're going through the adventure they're like could this be the one you know and they're like and and she is or <laughs> once shoot a bunch of guns at her and yeah. see if she can dodge <laughs> that's it <laughs> she like does yeah, the neo <laughs> like, oh, she's beginning to believe um but like or they find out as she's stolen and they they like oh my god if if the frogfish finds and then there's a there's this wedding that's planned and she's like no this sucks and then they've got to go like you know okay we're gonna have to like bust in on the wedding and and end this thing that's fun that's fun and i think it also accomplishes the goal of not making them like they're kind of goofy and dangerous but not that makes the lionfish king pretty terrible yeah he's a jerk he's a jerk like th don't get us wrong but it also kind of separates them where you're not going to go in and slaughter them wholesale. But as Ghibli did tell us, you can kidnap children and still be a likable character. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Only in cartoons. It's not in cartoons. Non -pop. Oh, thank goodness we're a cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, wait. Don't kidnap children. That's not, <laughs> yeah, no, it's not we, the message here. Yeah, not yeah, the, yeah. We're not endorsing this. Um, yeah, this is just a thing we sh we all shouldn't do. I like um, I like that though. That's really interesting. It's cool. Gives him a cool motivation. But then, so then, like the, because then what could happen too is like there's these encroaching uh, fish folk parties from other or the other side of the island, mm -hmm. and maybe he's like, double the speed. I need like he thinks that this marriage will everyone will bend the knee as soon mm -hmm. as this marriage happens. Yeah. So like in his mind, he's built up like. Double the men on land. We're looking for this. Increase the raiding parties. This is the highest priority. Highest priority. And he's like, I'll take care of them myself. And he's going off to like fend off the 
you know the the you know viper fish and the eel folk that are coming from the east eastern That's side great. of the island okay so who is the lionfish king's counter on the the side of the deep sea fish the like barracuda was cool i like the barracuda. barracuda yeah that's fun barracuda and like some eel folk and some yeah more just eels. things that are just like oof yeah viper fish are, viper are fish. wicked looking viper fish are gnarly um it's also angler fish it's also yeah. cool angler fish are great mm-hmm. um it's also cool that like if if all the fish on the western side, fish folk on the western side aren't poisonous except for the lion king fish, mm. but all the fish folk on the eastern side are all like evil and mm-hmm. like super super poisonous or deadly or scary or have barbs or you know. Yeah. And the poison is not lethal. It mm-hmm. just like paralyzes exactly. and it's like it's just yeah. awful. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. I I definitely don't want to do any sharks or anything like that. Yeah. Nah, that's they, too. They've got a bad rap. They've got a bad rap. They got to un unbad their rap. Piranha, like piranha. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, folk. Although, uh, are, wait, are piranha in the ocean? No, they're yeah, freshwater. They're freshwater but, fish. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's Obajima. <laughs> you get yeah. in there. We do have lakes. That's true. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Let's talk to our brothers in the lake. The uh, piranha brothers. I like that though. I think that's fun. So then, though, the other question too is, what does, what does the lion fish king think of the corruption mm. that's the other question i've got a few questions but that the that's the other big one is you know we've talked about them going on land we've talked about um what do people well i guess we haven't talked about what do people think of the fish folk we have talked about you know what are the fish folk what do they want who is he we've talked about other groups <clears throat> um but what do what does the the one big one is what do people think of fish folk on Obajima? What are their thoughts about them? And then the other thing is what does the Lion King fish think about the corruption specifically? Hmm. So I'd been uh, I think when we were uh, doing one of the locations, they're you know they're threatened by fish folk raiders uh, to the point where they create like a wall, like a, a seawall to to try to keep the mm-hmm. uh, them out. And so I think. At least in some places, they see them as basically just raiders. They might not know any more than that um, or have any kind of dealings with that. Um, I, I imagine it's not favorable generally. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think that's the case. But in terms of like the corruption, um, I could also imagine a situation where you have all these, you know, deep, deep fish folk coming up into the lionfish domain and. Lionfish domain doesn't know about the corruption or thinks it's it's just something uh, fabricated by these deep fish to mm-hmm. to lay claim to his domain. Right, yeah. it all comes down to he's aggrieved. Right, it comes back yeah. to like he's he's the. It's victim. all centered around yeah, him. Yeah. They're like <laughs> they're coming after me, but really they're fleeing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean it could be that all the the deep sea fish folk are corrupted of some sort. They've got like little things, and because deep sea fish look really freaky um they're kind of beginning that skeletonization Mm. and so because like you know the koi fish are skeletonized and the sky king is skeletonized like it it's having that effect and so you know the lionfish king might be like this has to be stopped i mean that's great because a lot of terrified like deep deep sea fish are transparent yeah, you could actually see their skeletons. Mm-hmm. Their eyes are yeah. milky, and yeah. you know they yeah. just look you know. so alien. What What would be cool is if you, if the players confronted one of the deep deep sea fish folk, and like it, one of the eel folk, and it's like, it, it, for some reason, it reminds me of uh, Ernest, uh, the Ernest movies. <laughs> uh, there's a There's a character named was Large Marge or. Marge, I don't know. Well, there's that's a mo- Beetlejuice. <laughs> there's a moment <laughs> which large march. Ernest uh, leaves uh, like a trucker, and uh, and the trucker turns to him and says like, "Ah, oh, tell him, yeah, it's don't." It's Beetlejuice, yeah. Tell him large march sent you. No, there's a. Is that? I think that I think you're thinking of. Pee wee. It's pee wee. Is it pee wee's big, big adventure? adventure? They're with the girl or with the the trucker that like has a crazy yeah, face. Oh, it's yeah. Pee Wee. It's not Ernest. Yeah. Okay, oh, okay, it's yeah. Pee Wee. That's what it is. That's what it was. Um, but there's that moment where like they she does that and it scares yeah. the heck out of him. I'm thinking the same moment 
could occur in our like i'm imagining this in my story in my head that's playing in my head constantly the movie that's constantly playing in my head while everyone's talking uh, <laughs> yeah. is one of these like eel folk like uh, go yeah. tell the lion king fish we're here and then they like move their jacket away and you can see their skeleton like down uh, their stomach it's coming yeah you, you know like that's pretty crazy yeah that could freak, yeah. That could be the thing that you could use to get the lionfish to like sober him up from his ego trip. Mm-hmm. You know, you could just be like, "Hey, dude, like, this thing's yeah. happening." Yeah, and, we caught this eel guy. I'd look mm-hmm. at him, and he's like partially yeah. skeletal. I love the idea that you know you're you're you've been brought before the lionfish king, you know, because you've been encroaching on uh, on his territory to probably free somebody, mm-hmm. right? And he's you know give, giving you a kind of his uh, monologue or whatever. And while this is happening, this prisoner has been brought in. It's like, you know, sire, we, we caught this, uh, you know, this this, yeah. this 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 loathsome creature or whatever. And that loathsome creature then says that thing. You know, <laughs> it's yeah. coming for you. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> then there's that moment where the Lion King fish is like, we got to call off the hunt. Everyone needs to go fight the thing. And the frog councilman's like, don't listen. This is a ploy by the, the, the land dwellers. To, <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. Um yeah. Which is super cool. We could have a, yeah, we could even have a, never mind. <laughs> I'm getting too deep in my metaphors and jokes here. But yeah, that's very interesting because then the frog person could sway, try to sway the Lion King fish to, or Lion Fish King to keep his search for the, the yeah. Nakodama princess. Nothing else matters. Yeah. yeah. yeah and then the players are like, no, you gotta, you know, like, join us. We can stop this together. You are supposed to defeat that <laughs> the current option, not join it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are my brother. <laughs> <laughs> I've never met you. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. am the high ground. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> We can just reenact this whole scene. <laughs> you, this is the last episode we're shooting in the day, and you can tell. Getting a little loopy. You can tell we're getting a little crazed here. Yeah, yeah. Bleed through from other things, other <laughs> stories start to come in. Um, I really love the direction we've taken this. The Lion King, the Lionfish King, seems like he has not only an interesting story, but yeah. a direction, some some wants and desires. We understand what the fish folk are. Um, we understand the fish folk from the eastern side versus mm-hmm. the western side. We understand his monopoly on like this area and like his rulership and how it's being forced onto certain groups. We understand that fish folk, uh, not all are not all under him, but most of them have bent the knee on the western mm-hmm. side. We understand the conflict between them and the coastal divers lodge. Uh, we have some fun back lore or backstory to the the ship that uh the lionfish king has Mm -hmm. and we have a little bit about his coral palace which Mm -hmm. i think is very interesting or not his coral palace but his coral slash Mm -hmm. reef palace um all super interesting stuff yeah and i think it, it kind of explains that you know because there's the 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 deep sea fish that have been started to become corrupted uh and they are are moving around that side of the island. They're trying to claim territory and territory. And <laughs> so, but then there's this sort of middle ground where there's these fish folk that are either going to join one side or the other. Yeah. And um, and then also we've given, you know, sort of in the the meta, like now if you you as a DM, you're like, okay, I want to I want to create an adventure where you know, my players are, are really just hack and slashers. They just want to kill stuff. It's like, okay, deep sea fish, you know, invade the land. And then you get to kill these monstrous looking things that yeah. are just like wraiths and horrible thing. <laughs> like, but if you're like, oh, my players, you know, like, like role playing and they like yeah. to sort of have this sort of intrigue at, at the court this and the palace. Deep sea courtly intrigue. Yeah, this yeah. courtly intrigue. And, uh, the, you know, the whole idea of like the, the, you know, the Nakadama bloodline and all that stuff. You could do, you know, several uh, sessions just about that, and yeah. it's it's really fun. And if you want to throw in like, you know, a Nakadama, um, you know, princess that gets captured and all that, you know, you can do you could do that. Yeah, and that that's really fun. You could do a. I mean, you could. This could tie in. This could be the whole connection to the corruption. You could do a whole adventure based on the shallows, mm-hmm. and it ends with you 
solving the corruption. Right. That's another way to get there. Yeah. Yeah. That's Compared good. to like some of the land mm -hmm. landlocked I mean, ways. That's maybe uh, a good question is to like, what is one of those solutions that takes place in this water sort of campaign? Like if you mm -hmm. had, okay, we're going to do a fishbowl campaign that ends where you solve the corruption and uh, you know, the deep sea, the, the lionfish king unites all and drives the deep sea fish back. Now. and unites the lands. Well, my suggestion is we talk about that offline so we don't have to do an, another disclaimer. <laughs> yeah, not watch exactly. This uh, yeah, I've got some, I have some ideas on how we might be able to tie some stuff together. Sweet. Um, that being said, that being said, I think this is the moment to wrap this episode up. Ooh. Thank you so much for joining us. This was the Obajima podcast about uh, the corruption on the shallows and uh, the Lion King fish and all of that good jazz. Thank you so much for, uh, for 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 watching this. You can find us on YouTube. If you're not subscribed, you already should. Spotify, hopefully soon. Uh, Instagram and uh, other social medias at Obajima and on our Discord page where you can join in on playtest material and other conversations about this podcast and other things and all things Obajima. Um, I think that's about it. So we will get out of here and we will catch you next time. Bye.